I got it. Oh my God! Look at that. Hey Battle Plays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, y'all. I am so excited. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, I am about to get a new camera. I'm so freaking excited, y'all. I'm so excited. I am actually heading to Best Buy to pick up the DJI Osmo Light Pocket 3, but the creator combo and I'm so excited y'all now to be fair this is not my first impression of the camera my first impression of the camera was actually very poor because I tried it before right and when I had the camera I didn't even give it a whole four hours before I took it back to the store I'm like I just don't like this I I, I just didn't like it and honestly I'm thinking it was because the camera that I had was a used camera it was open box used return refurbit whatever you want to call it so when it came to the image quality and stuff like that, I just, I, I didn't understand why it just looks so fuzzy. Like the little um, gimbal wasn't really following my face. Like none of that made sense to me. And I'm like, I don't see why everybody's so hyped over this camera. I don't like it, I'm taking it back. So that's what I ended up doing. But so many freaking videos kept popping up and popping up and popping up with almost everybody in their mama having this camera. So I'm like, Hmm, I started getting interested again. So then when I started doing a little bit more research on the camera, I'm like, okay, people are getting the creator's package. And then when I ended up talking to somebody that actually had the camera, y'all, hopefully y'all can hear me. I'm driving. But when I spoke to somebody that actually had the camera, they said getting the creator combo is what makes it worth it. Um, and then buying the camera new. They said the camera itself, it's durable, right? It's durable for the most part, it's heavy duty, but it is so fragile that it's easy to break. Like it's easy to break, throw it off or whatever the case may be. So I don't know, maybe the camera that I had was fine even though it was used and it just needed to be recalibrated or something like that. But um, yeah, it just wasn't working for me. So for months, y'all, for months, I was looking at this camera and I'm like, I wanna try it again. I wanna try it. But here's the thing, when I bought it last time, I only bought the camera because I didn't have money 
to buy the creator combo and so i was talking to trey last night or whatever and um I was telling him that I'm like, I just want to give this camera a try one more time. I want to give it more than a few hours. And for whatever reason, if it don't work out, I just want to take it back to the store. But I have to wait because now I got to save for it. Y'all, why my amazing, beautiful, sexy husband bought me this camera, sent the screenshot and was like, it'll be ready for pickup tomorrow. And I was like, <laughs> why are you so supportive? Because y'all, I'm trying to take my little social media a little bit more serious and whatnot. So I really am, you know, wanting to do a little bit more. So I'm really excited to try this camera out, but I'm about to grab some Starbucks real quick because I am actually hungry. I don't even know if I want Starbucks though. That's the crazy part. Yeah, I'll get Starbucks. I was going to this nail tag um, on Putnam. Shout out to her. Oh. She actually, she this nail tag that somebody recommended mm. in group me. What do I want? What do I want? I want a brown sugar, oat milk shake and espresso, and some bacon egg bites. Thank you. That's so freaking good. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. This freaking drink is so good. I wish, I don't know. I feel like they didn't put all my pumps of brown sugar in here though. Probably was like, girl, 12. Mm -mm. I know what I said. <laughs> but it's still so good though. I don't know. Which it was sweeter though. I wanted it sweet, like sweet, 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 sweet. But I got my food, I got my drink. Let's go ahead and head to Best Buy and get the camera. All right, so I just pulled up to Best Buy and I don't know why parts clear in the back of the parking lot, who knows, anyway. But I'm about to walk in here and I'm low key hoping that this is the Best Buy that I'm supposed to be at. Cause I feel like um, it was multiple locations that you can pick it up in. We gonna see. All right, so I got, I got receipts all over the place. Is there a trash can over there? I need my ID. Got my ID. Um, I need my phone. Let me throw in there y'all i still need to buy some new airpods because i have no clue where this other one is it's, it's just gone this time it's gone i've lost one of my airpods on so many occasions but this time it's, it's just gone i have no clue i remember putting it in a pocket i don't know oh my tummy oh my tummy is hurting oh my god you already know I gotta spray myself before I walk in anywhere. You gonna smell me. One thing about it, you you gonna smell me. That was my purse. This is one of my favorite purses, my Kohan purse. I have this in red, but I don't wear the red one as often. I got it. Oh my God, look at that. Oh wow, wow. <laughs> exciting y'all it's funny because i have been married for shit over a year now right so me and him met 2022 we got married on our one year anniversary 2023 so 2024 it's been a year we've been married for over a year and i still when i see stuff like this him adding me to everything <laughs> I just be like oh my god i have a husband <laughs> like i still i still love this ring y'all already know my favorite piece of jewelry what is it y'all already know anyway anyway let me go ahead and open this y'all i am so freaking excited about this this is my husband calling me right now yes you call me yeah but i thought i needed um some email but he was able to look it up by your phone number i mean i put on your name anyway so. <laughs> yeah i see i was so excited <laughs> what you doing? Uh, but I did the demo. Ah, uh, don't make, don't put me to shame. 
I was supposed to went to the gym today. I am gonna go later though. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I know. I'm distracted by that camera. Huh? About to get distracted by that camera. No, I. This camera is gonna motivate me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, go have fun, sexy. Uh, shutty. Bye. Later. Anywho, I'm hoping I don't get no more phone calls because I am low key. Um, I applied to a bunch of different jobs yes yesterday. Um, for one was the LPN position, the other was a respiratory therapy position, and I also applied for a, a respiratory therapy contract. I think they called me and I got to call them back because I think that's the message that they left. So I'm excited about that. I want the contract. I want the contract. Give me the contract. Let's go ahead and open this. I'm so excited. All right, so now that we got everything out of the box, I am super excited to actually play around and like see all of the things. So this is the camera and look how small it is. Like it's literally as big as my hand. I love that so much. And we're gonna go ahead and take this off. It's new. I didn't get to do this the first time. So this is exciting. I believe in order to turn it on, you just, I'll get adjusted to this and then I'll come back with that for you guys. But as far as the accessories, let's go ahead and get those nice and opened up. So here is the little extended um, clip that you can put at the bottom just to give you a little extra um, grip. Just stick this in here like this, I believe. Yeah, you can stick that in there like this and then it'll just give you extra like room to hold on to this. So this is just extra room to grab onto the actual camera. And it also have the little hole trim thing at the bottom so you can install the little stand. So this one here, this longer one, and it still have the trim so you can add the stand. But this one is actually um, a battery bank. So you can actually charge this and then when your camera is going dead you can plug this in and this would charge your camera so i'm i'm excited for that i really like that then here we have the microphone which i'm kind of excited about i don't know if i really like the way it looks i'm be completely honest like it's just big sitting there in my opinion but i'm pretty sure it's going to come in handy because listening to the audio and the reviews and stuff it was sounding really really good is this supposed to like clip in there i feel like this sh there we go and then it has a little wind muff so i'm super excited about that 
than just clipping it somewhere. I'm super excited. I'm super excited to try this out and see if there's an actual difference. You have the wide angle lens here, which from the reviews I saw it actually makes a really big difference. Again, I did not have this, so I'm super excited to try that out. And then as far as storage, this is the little cover protection for the camera. And you have this little area here where you can just put this here for safekeeping. So that is so good. It also came with a charger. Obviously you're gonna need a charger and it came with a little wrist um, strap. And that is everything that it came with. So I'm about to sit here and get comfortable for a second and actually play around with this camera because I'm actually really excited about it now that I have all of this, these other extra things that's gonna make um, using this camera fun. Okay, y'all, now that I've unboxed the camera and I went through all the pieces and stuff like that, I actually had to take some time to learn the camera i was just off camera watching some videos and stuff like that putting in some settings just trying some different things out and i also packed everything back into the case and y'all every single thing fits in here so perfectly like this case i love it let me show y'all i love this thing like it's everything fit back in there and when i say even this even the camera with the actual little protective shell on it fit in there perfectly like everything fit in here so perfectly so i really love that i love that so much um now oh, first of all it's hot in here oh girl pregnant girl issues i swear y'all know me i'm usually so freaking cold but since i've been pregnant i've been so hot it's insane Anyway, so the camera here, and y'all, I, now that I've played around with the settings and stuff like that, I like it. I like this camera a lot. So here it is once again. And so in order to turn it on, we already went through this. So there we are. I was playing around with the settings just to kind of I think I like it actually hold on let me see something okay yeah so I've been playing around with my settings and stuff like that and y'all I am absolutely in love like I am in love with this camera I still wish it had a um I still wish it had a smooth a uh, skin smoothening um effect kind of like this camera has but other than that it's perfectly fine if you play around with the settings and stuff like that it'll be a little true to color and it don't look so unflattering because i'm telling y'all i will look in the mirror and i will be good my skin is great like here so good but then when i look into like even my phone camera i'll be like okay you're trying to play with me you 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 trying to play with me and i don't appreciate it so I do wish this had some type of skin softening, but other than that, I love that. And then obviously the face, hold on, let me put this here. Obviously you have the face tracking. And I like that a lot. Um, yeah. So let me go ahead and record something on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and record something with the camera. And I do have face tracking on for the camera right now. So yeah, I mean, I like it. So far, it's just so, oh my gosh, I love it so much. I do wanna buy some more accessories and stuff to go with this, um, especially that little, um, the stand that I'm seeing on Amazon because the little one that I have, you have to actually put the extender on and then put the stand on. And it kind of takes the camera to this little mini camera to a not so mini camera and I don't really like that. So I do plan on getting the little stand thing. But other than that, I think the only setting that I really changed to see a real difference would be the exposure. I put that on negative 1.3 because I feel like that's a little bit more true to my skin tone when it was just the default settings. It kind of was washing me out a little bit. But, um, and I feel like negative 1.7 was too dark, but I think 1.3 
negative three is fine but i do have to try it inside of a building and stuff like that just to see just to double check oh and then hold on obviously i have the microphone so we're gonna go ahead and turn that on because when you turn on a microphone i turn it no oh, is that it there we go when you turn on a microphone it should automatically connect there we go okay so it automatically connects to the dji I'll just go ahead and sit this here and the audio should be a little bit different Ooh, i was testing like i said i was testing it out a little bit and i was listening to it and there's definitely a difference i was testing it a little bit and you can definitely the microphone makes a difference in the audio i will say but I don't like, um, I don't, I just don't like, it's, it's big to me. It's big to me. Maybe, okay, I'm gonna put it this way. When I bought this camera, hold on, where is it? When I bought this camera, it was because I wanted something that I can vlog in public with. And it was super small, very discreet. And although this camera is really good for that it's not good in low light and it's not good in buildings i mean it's a gopro when you're outside it works beautifully but inside it just don't so that's the reason i wanted to give this a try as well because being in a building obviously when i'm vlogging i'm not always outside so i wanted to give this a try but i will say with all of the accessories that come with it like like i said in order to have this thing you have to put the extender on and then the little foot thing let me just show y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on here. So you have the extender, and then you also have this that you will put on if you wanna like go in a store, prop it up or something like that. So you see what I mean? Like it's taking this camera that's supposed to be small and it's turning it into a not so small and discreet camera so when you're walking around with this on top of having this giant microphone that people can obviously see is not that discreet so when people say oh yeah it's shy girl friendly or shy boy friendly or if you're super shy to vlog in public this is the perfect camera you're it's no it's not you're still going to have to get over the fear of vlogging in public because at the end of the day anything that you have to hold in front of your face and talk to like this people are still going to look it's still going to be very noticeable it doesn't matter how small it is even this even this little bitty camera even this little bitty camera here that i would hold up is still super awkward to me so you're just going to have to get over that fear of vlogging in public regardless of what you do and what you use but other than that I do think this is an amazing camera and I am actually really excited to have it and I cannot wait to try it out. So I am about to go ahead and try to get over my own fear of vlogging in public and I think I'm about to go and grab a few things. Do I need? Yes, I do. I need to grab some things out of Target. So I'm about to go into Target, shop around, window shop, grab a few things and attempt to vlog. If I don't get any footage, Y'all know my anxiety got the best of me, so let's see how it goes. A lot of model bitches check for me, nigga don't check for me unless you got checks for me. I kept a stick like a hobo, no checking me. Way back when Kilo had to spot and trust with you. So many hoes had to get up, I said to me. She left her body home and brought her net to me. I did a walk, do that shit to jet to me. Y'all niggas show price, less than my jewelry. One of my arms were particular. Watch so much that a car came with me. Back in the day, I used to walk with no mask on. Shit on my wrist, I would've kicked the whole house for And I went to school high, I ain't go to class though. I was with the OGs, I'm about the glass though. Got me with a dude's five, I'm gonna keep my ass broke. Break yourself, you was right on the dance floor. I'm with Sid and Lil Baby. We got four choppers this fool. Right before rapping on God, I was trapping. Just get my Glock and look cool. I got my cake from Osama, been lighting. Lil Dookie, he signed this shit. I'm for a gang, if you use from my chain, and a nigga gon' die in this bitch. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Wacky, y'all nigga doing that big capture. So 
I just left out of Target and just as I suspected, vlogging with this camera is no less nerve-wracking than vlogging with my Sony ZV-1 Mark II. So, um, cut it out with all that shy girl camera, shy vlogger camera. No, no. This is still going to make you feel very awkward because you still have to do the same things. I barely got any shots. One, because I noticed that I felt like the... I felt like the image was really okay so what was I saying um yeah so I was trying to get footage in there and I honestly didn't get much because I noticed that I couldn't figure out if like the image was showing up super dark so I'm about to look back at the footage and stuff like that but I kept looking and I'm like okay the footage is looking really dark the lighting is absolutely horrible I thought it would kind of like fix itself because I feel like when I'm vlogging with the Sony when it's dark it'll like and it like starts to focus on my face a little bit y'all I'm so sorry I'm looking at the freaking viewfinder and not the camera lens but I notice when I'm vlogging with this camera it kind of fixes itself so the color isn't like super off but I don't know if it was doing it with this camera or not so I'm not even sure what the footage even looks like then when it comes to like getting the angles and stuff like that trying to set the camera up and actually get the angles the gimbal is like moving around so you can't like really get the shots that you want unless I need to get used to it I need to get used to it I will say that when I'm vlogging somewhere with this even though the color is bad like the lighting is I'm telling you this I will say this camera is really bad in low light but outside or if I'm in a car or something like this this is a really good camera but the fact that I can just take this off and like put it to anything that's magnetic it's super easy for me to get the angles and shots and stuff that I want when I am vlogging in somewhere so that was super simple and then it's super blocky so I can just flip up the screen and just sit it somewhere and I know it's going to be angled at what it is that I need it to be angled at that wasn't the case with this one at all because when it's still really tall and awkward I don't know I know I still like the camera I feel like the quality is still really good but I'm definitely gonna have to play around and get used to it if it is something that I want to kind of vlog with in public so yeah yeah I don't know what I'm about to do now is it still cool oh yes I do I have to run the staples because I have to drop something off and then I have to run a UPS because I also have to drop something off there I'm returning some stuff to Amazon so I'm about to run and do that real quick and then I'm thinking I'm looking for a little cafe to go to why is this still playing music I've been looking for a little cafe to go to I've been looking for cute little places and things to do around the Fayetteville area and I think I found a place it's um just love coffee cafe this little place here so I'm thinking I'm gonna try that out i'm gonna see if trey wants to come with me but yeah so let's go ahead and finish running these errands and get some food because i'm getting a little bit more hungry and this it's not doing it for me look who's here be like, i'll just put it over there so you tap the camera hmm? to do the face tracking maybe that's part of it part of what like i'm not gonna This track can be kind of, kind of gets irritating. Like. You doing too much moving around? Yeah, I ain't hungry. I want to Yeah, I was able to drop all that stuff off. I went to Target, and they have this eczema cream that's literally on Amazon for like way cheaper. It was thirty dollars. Yeah, and it was for the little one too. I, I'm, I just grabbed it because I'm like, oh, I've seen this on Amazon. I wanted to get it. It's right here. Let me just grab it. Go to the register, scan it. And I was like, can you take this off? That's what my target is. Is it scan? Tacos. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Waffle. Walnut. Ooh. Thank and you. And then I have another taco plate coming out. Oh 
so good. It's either out hungry or it's just good. Don't think about working out. I think it's so hungry. Yeah, it's very hot. That's pretty good. I had that blue thing in that it. That was better than mine. Oh, that's. That makes it a little light. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. I know things look a little different, right? Do it? I hope so. I hope so. Um, my hair is different. My settings are different. Things are different because y'all, it's been a while since I actually picked up this camera and I really need to stop doing that. I need to stop doing that because I feel like I be so good getting my footage and stuff when I'm vlogging and then all of a sudden I just drop off the face of the earth for a little bit and then come back to close it out and I genuinely need to stop doing that. I need to, I need to focus. Anyway, so last you guys saw me i was honestly i don't know i feel like i had just finished up at the little cafe when i went with trey let me know if i'm wrong i don't know i'll find out when i'm editing anyway um yeah so i had just finished up there and i had a good time but then so many things <laughs> <laughs> between that moment and this moment right here so obviously it's definitely been about a week since I've picked up this camera but now I'm here to close it back out now what I have been doing within that week I've been playing around with the camera I've been like really um learning this camera and I'm hoping the settings that I have them set at are doing what I needed to do I feel like when I look back on like the playback and stuff like that on the camera and in my iPad it looks really really good it looks so much better so I'm really enjoying that let me know down below if you want me to make a dedicated video to my camera and its settings and things like that because I can do that um but it'll have to be in a separate video I feel like this one's long enough <clears throat> so just let me know if you guys want that I'm sorry y'all I'm sorry I'm drinking some Starbucks and I just finished eating but a few things about using the camera or I guess a few updates on the camera a few a review what am I trying to say a quick little review on the camera is I love it I absolutely love this camera it's definitely a 10 out of 10 and I feel like I still feel and I've mentioned this before but I still feel that anxiety vlogging in public right but because it is a small camera and because so it's so much hype around it, it's so so many people want to get their hands on this camera. I notice when I am vlogging with it or because obviously I've been in public with it. I've just been testing it out here and there. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm telling y'all this pregnancy and the, the, the drool. But um I will say trying it out in public instead of having people like be awkwardly staring when i'm using my sony people actually come up to me and ask me about this camera and they're like oh my god can i like try it or can i take a look at it i've been looking at this camera i really want it so it's a conversation starter it's a conversation starter and i genuinely prefer that so much more than people just staring like why are you staring so i really really like that the image of this camera i was hearing you know mixed things about some especially with bigger influencers that have this camera that they feel like the image isn't that good well for somebody like me who got less than 10,000 y'all we about to hit 7,000 subscribers so go ahead and keep subscribing keep hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribe button if you haven't already I'm telling y'all I'm telling y'all anyway um if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button because y'all i'm still trying to hit my 10k but we'll get there slowly but slowly but shortly we gonna get there but we about to hit 7k and i am just over the moon i'm super excited but um yeah but anyway as far as the image i absolutely love it i think the image quality especially in the 4k is just so to me chef's kiss is so good i really really like it using this camera it is definitely so small where using this little piece here as little as this is it is still so much more comfortable to hold this camera with this piece on there i don't use hold on let me put it on now because uh, there we go like i said i don't use um 
the battery bank unless I absolutely have to and I'm gonna be completely honest since I've had this camera I have not had to use this but it's just a little bit more comfortable with the small little handle extender on there because it just fits better in the hand it just makes more sense in the hand so I really really like that um, I do still like the microphone I haven't really used it I noticed though that the I don't know maybe I'm using it wrong maybe I need to check something else out oh my gosh y'all I have so much burp right now I have so much gas I'm so sorry I am so sorry anyway um I've noticed that the the audio quality coming out of the microphone oh lord have mercy am I about to start being crazy right now what is with my brain and body right now okay let's try it again as far as the image quality as far as the audio quality coming out of the microphone, I feel like, to me, I feel like it could give off a little muffled at times or it gives microphone, if that makes any sense. Like it has this like kind of sound to it that don't hit my ear naturally. It sounds like it's a little bit muffled or I'm probably a little too close to it. I'm not sure, even when it's attached here. So I will say I still like the microphone because when I am in a place that's really, really loud, it still comes in handy because it isolates your voice. And so you're able to hear what you're saying. The camera's able to hear what you're saying, even though around you is really, really noisy. So the camera and well, the microphone is still very useful. And to be honest, I do plan on getting a second microphone with uh to go with you know my set and things like that what else oh this um wide angle lens y'all this hold on do y'all see the difference this wide angle lens anytime i am using this camera i am using this wide angle lens i love it so much and i use it so often to the point i'm feeling like i should get an extra backup just in case because i use it that often to me it really makes a difference i love that wide like i feel like even without this right i feel like even without this you know it's wide it's 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 a wide you know camera but Pay attention to above my head, my chest area, the side of the doors, right? So see where it is right now? It just widens everything up so much and I just love that. So um, I definitely like the wide angle lens. And yeah, so as far as using this camera, I'm telling y'all, I love using this camera. I love using this camera so much. Um, there's, I don't have any bad things to say about it. I really don't have any bad things to say about it. This is just a nice um, addition to my camera collection. So on top of my Insta360 Pro 3, Insta360 Go 3S, which has phenomenal image quality, especially when you're in a well-lit place outside, like hiking or just going on a walk or just being outdoors and you want something small, that's for that. If I need something real quick and I'm about to be in public and I, you know, a little, just a little shy, just, just a little bit shy, or I'm about to go like on a shopping trip or whatever the case may be, boom, I have this camera here that I can just carry around anywhere. That's another thing. If I have a small purse and it's about to be like probably a low lit setting, boom, this camera is going to do it. So those two cameras is basically a backup to my main camera, which is the Sony, but you can still use them all. Am I making sense or am I just rambling? Anyway, um, yeah, so that's about it. This camera. Oh my gosh. It is crazy because I don't have the face tracking on right now, but I don't know if y'all notice. It's low key, it's moving a little bit. Do y'all see that? It's still kind of like, okay, girl, what you doing? But when I turn on my face tracking, let me turn on. Then it's like, okay, there you go. I love the face tracking. I love the face tracking on this thing so much. With the face tracking, I love when I can just sit here and let's say I'm talking and I'm talking with my hands or whatever. I like that the camera moves with me. Like if I have something over here that I want to show you guys, I can reach over here. It's going to track me getting what I'm getting and then I can just get it and then show you guys. It just offers a little bit more texture and movements to my videos and I just really, really like that a lot. So 
I don't know. I think that's all the review that I need to give for now, right? Okay, y'all, that was it for this video. I'm so glad to be wrapping it up so I can give it to y'all. Now, before I go, comment down below and let me know if you have this camera, what's your favorite feature? What do you like most about the camera? And if you don't have the camera yet and you're thinking about buying it, what do you think you're going to like most about the camera and why are you consider buying it, considering buying it? And comment down below if you don't have the camera and you don't intend on buying it and let me know what reasons you felt like you just didn't need this camera in your collection. I want to see something because maybe it's some hidden features out there that I don't know about yet that I'll be able to use. And let me know y'all settings as well. Let me know what kind of settings or recommended settings. Anyway, that's enough ranting. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye.